Okay, so here's how you replace a cracked digitizer on an ASUS T100 uh, transformer tablet laptop. So this, the screen should be okay. Um, my customer told me that just the glass is broken. So he got a replacement one. So you can tell from the replacement that the digitizer cable is down on the bottom. Um, normally you'd be careful when removing this stuff, but since it's already broken, then it doesn't matter if you break the cable, as long as you don't break anything behind. So yeah, I'll show you how to do that. So first you remove the top, you push that button. Let's see, okay, this is one hand, push the button, and then pull this out. So you got the tablet, you don't need this piece, set that aside. So at first what I did was I actually pried this out. Usually what you do, um, if it's hard to pull the adhesive out, you use a heat gun, heat it up. When it's warm, just slide a small pry tool like this. Um, this thing is for like scooping pills pharmacies use, but I also used um, a larger one like this that they use for frosting. Um, but pretty much you can use anything small and flexible. Some people use guitar picks, some people use like playing cards, things like that. Um, so basically what you do, um, or what I did, I slid this under here, and then I just heated it, and as I heat it, um, I just slide it along. If it gets too hard to move, I just heat it some more, adjust it a little bit, keep sliding it. Um, eventually you can get all the way around. Um, but if you want to do it without cutting the cable, first what you do, since you're going to have to replace the new cable anyways, um, there's the gap between the two layers here. So what you do is you can stick your nail in there and you just pull it back like this. Or you can use a pry tool. Um, you can use something like this. Just don't stick it too far and then just pull it up. When you pull it up, it'll apply pressure downwards and unleash, um, release the little clips back there. So you just do this going all the way around. I already did this one so it's easier. I can do it with my fingernail. If it's the first time, it'll probably be a little bit more difficult. But yeah, do that. Go around. Do the top and the sides first. Because the bottom, it has this uh, these little things where the plastic actually isn't there. So it's going to be tough. So you just pry that. Pry that out. Then you don't pry the metal part, just the plastics. So try and get something between there. Pry that out. Plastic, get that. Pry that out. And then once you pry all the edges out, this piece will release. So you got that. So the trackpad, not the trackpad, the digitizer cable. It goes at on this the bottom right side. When you flip it over, it's on the bottom left. So that it goes into this these slots here. It threads through. There's a hole in here, um, but it threads through. So there's a hole right down there. Thread, it'll thread through, and then it'll connect into these. So there's these latches here. Make sure they're up. Make sure these latches are up um, when you're replacing it, but right now I removed it. So these latches normally will be down like this. Um, so you just use your nail or something, pry it up. It'll flip up like that. Once you flip them both up, you just pull that out. So normally you would pull that out before you take the digitizer out, but since it's already broken, it doesn't matter. You can cut that cable. And once you, Pry everything out, so go around the whole thing with the heat gun, pry it all around. Then once you do that, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Probably have to pry this back up since there's still a little adhesive all behind it. So you do that, pry all around, eventually you'll get this glass to come up. So. Normally at this point, you would have that digitizer disconnected if you do that step first. So then when you pry this all out, it will thread through. But 
since the adhesive is there, you're probably going to end up cutting it anyways because it's hard to tell like how far to go with the uh, pry tool. Um, normally what you can do is you can pry around just to the edge here and then pry kind of just towards the middle and then just pull the glass instead of instead of um, scraping all the way underneath here. But again, since it's broken already, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to do anything with that broken cable. Um, after you're finished, there's going to be a whole bunch of this adhesive stuff on here. Um, it's kind of a pain to remove. Um, usually what I do to remove that stuff, um, I'll use some paper towels and some isopropyl alcohol. You can use 91%, 70% will work fine. Don't use too much, just enough to get it a little wet. And then you just rub, rub it. If it doesn't come out with the... Uh, if you put too much, make sure not to put too much because if it drips, it can like get into the electronics here. Just enough just to wet it a little bit. Then you just rub it. And then after it's a little bit wet, you can use the dry side and you rub it with the dry side. The dry side will get like some paper towel residue to stick to it. So that way when you rub it again with the wet side, it'll absorb into that and it'll help you pull that residue off. So it's a very long process. Um, just make sure to clean it all off otherwise when you put the new digitizer in it might fall out um, okay and then after you do that um, you just get like a nice double stick adhesive you don't really need to like cover it completely like they did as long as you have like a border all the way around it's good enough so you can use a thin one but if you want to be uh, like extra secure you can put like two layers or get a thicker tape so I have that kind of tape and I have another, um, this acrylic type tape. Um, but the companies like to use this kind that kind of like separates more, which is more like a plasticky film. But this kind of tape I found holds really well. The only thing is you have to make sure you get it adjusted just right before you put it down. Um, if you're lazy, you can leave some of this goop, but... I would recommend taking it all out just to be safe. Um, one time I didn't completely remove it, it'll be fine for several days and then it'll slowly kind of peel so because the uneven surface. So probably to be safe, just clean it all out. Uh, it'll save you in the long run. So once you do that, once you clean it all up, stick the adhesive, uh, double stick adhesive, but leave the other, other side um, so that way when you you can fit this first. Um, fit this, the cable, guide it through the holes. Once you do that, make sure you hold the digitizer to this so when you flip it over it doesn't just fall out. And then same thing, put them back into these slots. Once you get them back in, make sure to latch these back down. Once you got all of that done, to be safe, I would just snap the, the whole thing back down with the digitizer, snap it all back down in place. Then you can like lift the digitizer part way up like this, just have it raised up and then peel the, the second um, part. Make sure this lays flat um, before peeling it. But once you make sure it's lined up, hold this up, peel the, the other side of the double stick adhesive off and then once you peel all of that out, just drop it down and it'll hold itself in place. And that's pretty much it. Once you do that, it should be perfect. All right.